Music is one of the most important creative decisions that you'll make for your film. The music you choose sets the tone for the film, the scene, the character, and tells your audience how to feel or not. Something I like to do every so often for fun and really to drive the point home is shift music in actual scenes to see how differently it will play. So today we're gonna have a little bit of fun and do exactly that. To do this, we grabbed a couple of scenes like this scene here from Mad Max Fury Road and brought it into a site called Vocal Remover. And this is a free website that uses AI to separate your dialogue and music. You just put in your audio track and this does all the work for you. And it does a pretty amazing job. She's hot! She's hot real bad! She's hot! She's hot real bad! Then once you're done, you download the music and vocals in their own individual tracks and you're good to go. However, it isn't perfect. You are getting that tinny sound to most of these. And depending on how much music there is or how close together it all is EQ wise, the software can get more confused and leave you with less than desirable results. But overall, it's pretty impressive and perfect for what we need today. But with Mad Max separated, we can take what is an extremely badass scene and make it feel a bit silly by swapping that music out. So we'll just jump here to Artlist, do a quick search for something like Circus, and grab one of these that makes our heart tickle and toss it in, and then we have... She's hot. that is comical and really over the top, but we can rope it back and stay more true to the moment and still make it radically different. Take this scene from Tarantino's Reservoir Dogs. It's a great and iconic scene that has a very specific musical choice, and it's that musical choice that made it so iconic. So let's remove that choice and add in something more typical for a moment like this. In our list, we'll do a search for horror to find some tense pieces that could work. Toss one of these in and... Not only does it make the scene less unique, for me, it also makes it more disturbing. The original music softens the moment a touch to make it a little more stylistic and less gruesome while still impactful. While both bits of music do keep the film intense for me and paint the villain as insane, the original music keeps it from stepping into a typical disturbing horror moment by mixing it with something different. So again, the intention is altered here and so is the audience's experience of this moment. And as you've seen already, Ready, we're using Artlist to source all the tracks for today, which is also today's sponsor. Artlist has a massive catalog of great music for any project that you're working on, from what you've heard in this episode to any genre of chart style music to things that are great to use for events, underbeds, and so on. And with this, you can get the unlimited license plan, which gives you access to everything to use for social, client, commercial, film and TV, and on any platform. But now they also have a personal creator plan that is much cheaper and gives you the license to use across 
across all social platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and so on. And with most of us, that sort of license is gonna be more than enough, so it's great to see that there now. And speaking of YouTube, every song is cleared through YouTube, so you know that you don't need to worry about getting a copyright strike before you even put the video up. And as you've seen already, their search is really excellent. Just tossing in a keyword and getting a bunch of options that work right off the bat, they've done a solid job of curating things in the most intuitive way so you can find what you need quickly and get right to work. So check out our link in the notes below. You get two months free off your annual subscription, and of course, it helps the show out. So check that out below. And now, let's mess up some more scenes. Logo. Let's do the reverse of what we just did with Reservoir Dogs. Let's grab a tense and slightly disturbing scene and take the edge off with this scene from it. creature is gory and terrifying. It's a near-death moment, but what if we hunt down some Disney-fied music here on Artlist and toss that in, and again, changing nothing but the music. For me, there's nothing scary about it anymore. The makeup is still gory, but it feels less so now, and the scene as a whole isn't even remotely intense. Once again, we're seeing how incredibly important the music is to your image. But let's reverse it again with our last example and the most interesting one, in my opinion. Here's a scene from the period romance film Pride and Prejudice. She was here. How can I ever make amends for such behavior? After what you have done for Lydia, and I suspect for Jane also, it is I who should be making amends. You must know. Surely you must know it was all for you. You are too generous to travel with me. I believe you spoke with my aunt last night and it has taught me to hope, as I had scarcely allowed myself before. If your feelings are still what they were last April, tell me so at once. My affections and wishes have not changed. But one word from you will silence me forever. If, however, your feelings have changed, I would have to tell you. You have bewitched me, body and soul, and I love, I love, I love you. I never wish to be parted from you from this day on. But now, what if we jump in here and find something that leans more horror again? Something eerie, like an elevated horror film. This track here will probably work great, so we'll chuck that in without changing a single thing in this scene other than the music, and we now have an A24 horror film. Sleep. Nora, my aunt. Yes, she was here. How can I ever make amends for such pain? After what you have done for Lydia, and I suspect for Jane also, it is I who should be making amends. You must know. Surely you must know it was all for you. You are too generous to travel with me. I believe you spoke with my aunt last night and it has taught me to hope. So I'd scarcely allowed myself before. If your feelings are still what they were last April, tell me so at once. My affections and wishes have not changed. But one word from you will silence me forever.
If, however, your feelings have changed, I will have to tell you. You have bewitched me, body and soul, and I love, and love, and love you. I never wish to be parted from you from this day on. For me, that is the funniest and most extreme change because it actually works and reframes the scene. What the characters are thinking and how they feel about each other is entirely altered while remaining effective. If I didn't know already, I could have been convinced that this was some horror thriller. With the original music, this is a romantic scene. She's looking at him with love. But when we change the music, it feels as though she wants to kill him. Even her slight smile here, which in the original is sweet, here it takes on a sinister tone. It is truly incredible the psychological effect that music has on us, and when intelligently mixed with visuals, it can be more impactful than most anything else in your filmmaker toolkit. Even the decision to not have any music is a major decision for your film that will have great impact. <laughs> So like we said last week, do this for yourself. Use the site to strip music from some scenes and toy around with shifting the intention just with how you alter the music of the piece. It's a great way to experiment and study another very important language of film. But that's it for today. If you're not subscribed, consider doing that and hit the bell button to be notified when we put up more content. And until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat.